Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss about long-term notes payable and calculate interest expense. What is the definition of long-term notes payable? It is a written promissory note or agreement signed by the company and it must be payable more than a year. And company recognize liability to repay principal amount borrowed and interest on specific date in the future. Normally, long-term notes payable is issued to purchase fixed asset. In other words, Long-term notes payable is a written promissory note and under this agreement, a borrower also obtains a specific amount of money from a lender and promises to pay it back with interest over a certain period and more than one year. There are two types of long-term notes payable. Number one, single payment, and number two, regular payment. Under single payment, the company will pay notes payable at the end of the maturity date. Normally, at the maturity date, maturity date, the company will pay principal plus interest. And the second one, regular payment, the company will make a regular payment for every year and the regular payment of principal plus interest will be paid according to the agreement. Now, we look at the general entry for single payment. The first one, to record cash received from notes payable or to purchase Fixed assets, a sign, sign from notes payable, debit cash or bank or fixed asset, credit notes payable. Number two, to record interest payable at the accounting period, debit interest expense and credit interest payable. Based on single payment, all the notes payable being paid at the maturity date, the principal and the interest. So, the transaction incurred at the maturity date, debit notes payable, debit interest expense, debit interest payable and credit cash or bank. Now, we look at the example for long-term notes payable with single payment. Suryati Enterprise purchased a machine worth RM25,000 on 1st January 2018. Payment was made by check for RM5,000 and the remaining will be paid by signing notes payable for a period of two years. Annual interest rate is 8%. The end of accounting period is 31st December annually. So you are required to prepare the journal entry to record. Number one, the purchase of machine on 1st January 2018. Number two, interest expense on 31st December 2018. And the last one, the payment of the notes with interest on the maturity date. So, when you want to calculate the interest, we must consider the date of issuance and the date of accounting period and also the date of maturity. So, we must record the, uh, the date of issuance for 
notes payable for the 31st of December, we must accrue the expense or we must make an adjustment for interest expense and we have not paid for interest expense but we have to record for the year of 31st December 2018 and the date of 31st December 2019 is the maturity date where we have to pay notes payable, interest expense, interest payable at the maturity date. So the formula to calculate interest expense 8% times the principal RM20,000 equals to RM1,600 per annum. So number one, we have to record in the journal entry. So to record the purchase of machine, debit machine at the date of 1st January 2018, credit bank and credit notes payable. payable. We have signed note payable only 20,000 because we have made a payment by check 5,000. So the remaining is RM20,000 for notes payable. Number two, we have to record interest expense at the year ended 31st December 2018. So we have to make an adjustment for interest expense because we have not paid yet for the interest. The interest expense will be paid at the maturity date. So we have calculated for interest expense for uh, at the date 31st December 2018 debit interest expense, credit interest payable, RM1,600. The last one, we have to record payment of the note and interest on the maturity date. So, the maturity date is 31st of December 2019, debit notes payable. Debit interest expense that incurred in the current year. Debit interest payable that incurred last year for December 31st, 2018. And the total payment that we have to make is 23,200 credit bank. Don't forget to watch my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.